Delta variant is more contagious than the original strain of COVID, and the CDC says it's likely it's more severe as well. But as cases spike, the number of deaths in California has remained flat. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on the factors shaping the variant's severity. At Family Health Centers in Hillcrest, they're seeing patients with a wide range of illness from the Delta variant, some with mild symptoms. And right next door to them are 30 and 40 year olds that are sick as dogs and really look like a truck ran over them, coughing like crazy. Compared to last year, I think we're seeing sicker people. An internal CDC document last week said Delta is likely more severe. The assessment was based on three studies from Canada, Singapore and Scotland. In each study, the researchers adjusted for age, gender, and other risk factors, and they found people with Delta had a much higher risk of hospitalization than those with the original virus, nearly twice the risk in the Scottish study, even higher in the Canadian study. We know for sure the viral levels are higher. It seems to make people uh, sicker more quickly. So, you know, three days on average, three to four, rather than five to seven, which was from the older version there. I do think that's going to translate into more severity of illness. But Dr. Christian Raymer says it's still hard to say for sure. The three foreign studies were somewhat limited and haven't been peer reviewed. Across California, cases have been spiking since the beginning of July and hospitalizations have ticked up too. But the death rate from COVID has stayed pretty flat since June. That's partly because deaths are a lagging indicator. After an infection, it typically takes about three weeks for someone to die from COVID, but it may be something else. The pool of people that are getting COVID is by and large unvaccinated people. So, and that tends to be more the 20 to 30 year old folks. He says hospitals may be seeing younger, more resilient patients. More than 70% of Californians over 50 are now fully vaccinated. It may be that we have a, a very well protected vulnerable population, so deaths won't go up that much. And I know we now have treatments that are that are better than they were before. He says treatments like monoclonal antibodies are more readily available for high risk patients soon after infection. The infusions can even be given to people who have been vaccinated. An extra layer of protection that makes Delta's severity a little harder to calculate. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. And doctors say Delta's extraordinary rate of spread also makes pinpointing its severity more challenging because more infections naturally lead to more hospitalizations.